Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we will configure the L2TP IPsec VPN for our organization with pre-shared key so that our Active Directory users can connect to the organization from outside with their credentials and pre-shared key. Let's see our scenario. I have a DC computer by the name of MyDC01 and the IP is 192.168.2.180 and it has the Windows Server 2025 installed and the domain is techyjack.local and the VPN server have the IP 2.185 and it is joined with the domain and Windows Server 2025 is installed on it and another we have a internal computer with Windows 11 and it is joined with the domain and the IP is 2.192 Therefore, we have a, another computer that is outside of our network with Windows 10 installed on it. I would also like to tell you that L2TP VPN, especially when used with the PPTP, is depreciated in Windows Server 2025. And Microsoft recommends to use more secure and efficient protocols like SSTP and IKE version 2. While L2TP IPsec is still available, but it's not the default and requires the specific configuration. Therefore, we will also see how we can enable it on our Windows Server 2025. So let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our member server. And if we see the Hyper-V, we have a VPN server with the IP of 2.185. Let's try to connect with this server and I will log in with as a domain admin. So we are logged in. So first of all, we will go to the server manager and click on add roles and feature. Click on next, next again. And here we have our server that is vpn.techyjack.local and you can see the IP address. Let's click on next. In the roles, we have here remote access. You can check this box and proceed with next. Again, click on next, next again. And here we have the role services like direct access and VPN routing or web application proxy. So here we have to select this direct access, add the management tools as well. I will click on add features and will click on next, next again, next again, and I will install the role. The role installation has been succeeded. Let me close this. And here we have this yellow exclamation mark. I will click on this and you can see open the getting started wizard. I will click on this and here you can see we have three options deploy both direct access and VPN deploy direct access only or deploy VPN only so this time we are just going to deploy VPN only so I will select the option VPN only let me maximize this and from here we will just do a right click right now you can see it is in a red color we will click on configure and enable routing and remote access click on next and here we will select the custom configuration we'll proceed with next it says select the services that you want to enable on this server. So we are going to enable the VPN access. So I will check the VPN and click on next and finish. It says the routing and remote access service is ready to use. Start the service. We will click on start the service and service will get started. Now the service has been started. In the VPN local, I will go to the properties of this and in the security, you can see the allow custom IPsec policy for L2TP connection. I will check this and here it asks for the pre-shared key. I will put the pre-shared key as VPN dollar pre-shared 123 and now I will go to the IPv4 as we do not have any DHCP server in our network. So I will select the static address pool here and click on add. I will select this IP range. The start IP will be 192.168.2.162 and the ending will be 168 and total number of addresses will be 7. So I will click on OK and will click on apply. To enable custom IPsec policy, you must restart routing and remote access. So I will click on OK and here in the VPN, I will go to the all task and will click on restart. You can see the service is restarting and if we see this remote access client, there is no client connected with the VPN. So that's why it is blank. So once the user will get connected with the VPN service, we will see the user here. Let's go to our Active Directory users and computer. So now this is our Active Directory and if I expand the domain, here we have the VPN OU 
and inside this i have a jack user so i want the user jack to be connected with the vpn services so we have to configure the user setting as well we will go to the properties of the user and inside the dial in tab we will click on allow access and we'll click on apply and click on ok now let's go to our windows 11 client computer and try to access the vpn server from the internal network so i'm logging in with the user jack to our windows 11 client computer so we are logged in with the jack user right click on this network and internet settings and i will select the vpn and will click on add vpn connection in the connection name you can type any name i will just type the vpn internal and in the server ip i will type the ip of our vpn server that is 192.168.185 and the vpn type will be i will select l2tp ipsec with pre-shared key now i will type the pre-shared key and in the username and password i will type the name as jack and the password for the user and will click on save so let's try to connect it now and we got this error security layer encountered a processing error during initial negotiation with the remote computer let's try to fix it in order to fix this let's go to the vpn server back so this is our vpn server you can see the ip 2.185 and we will open the routing and remote access and here in the port go to the properties and here if you see l2tp used by none so we have to configure this we can click on this configure and check this box remote access connection inbound only and here maximum port i will say up to nine port and we'll click on ok apply ok and now we have to restart the service like vpn service i will go to the all task and will restart the service now the service has been restarted let's go back to the windows 11 client and let's now try to connect it now again it's giving the error let's go to this vpn connection click on properties click on security and allow these protocol and check this as well and click on ok and close this so now if we try to connect the vpn let's see it get connected now here if you see the ip of the vpn you can see it is 2.164 you can see it is connected now in the security we have these protocols there if we go back to the server and see the remote access dashboard you can see operation status vpn services are running and vpn connectivity is perfectly fine so we are able to connect from the internal network let's see how we can connect from the external network and i will go to the firewall.cpl to enable the routing and remote access port we will go to the advanced settings inbound rules new rule and here we will select the predefined and we will select the routing and remote access click on next here we are using l2tp so we will check on this l2tp click on next allow the connection and finish it so the firewall rule has been created same we have to allow on our router or the firewall as well if we check the port we can go to the properties and protocols and port here we have the port udp 1701 so let's allow it on our router as well in order to connect from the outside you have to open these ports 1701 4500 and 500 and point it to the vpn server by this way you can configure your external vpn connection and connect to the vpn server i hope the video was useful let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever i post new content